sick and her voice was shaking and she told me that um, that she, well, first of all, she was going through a really difficult time and she told me that she had just bought flight a flight to Paris and her plan was to go alone and, um, and try to heal on a weekend that was going to be really, really difficult in her life, regardless of where she was in the world. And this was an impulsive decision and super out of character for her, so I was shocked and really inspired by it and I called her a tender warrior in the moment. And we got off the phone and I kept walking and I started thinking about what I might have meant by that phrase. And I realized that all of my close friends are people that I would consider a tender warrior, which if I had to define to me means somebody who, um, through all of the terrible things they have going on at times in their lives, they make a conscious effort at least to stay sensitive, to choose to be emotionally vulnerable with the people around them, even when they're terrified. And, um, and I, through touring so much over the last 10 years and talking to people like you guys after shows, um, I think that we're like-minded in a certain way. I, I, I don't mean to generalize, but I think the fact that we're all huddled together in a living room in Vermont in the wintertime might say something about um, maybe, I don't know, this is maybe our priorities, which I think for me is to, uh, well, I guess to try to connect with humanity, especially through really difficult times and um, through art especially. And we're going through a really, really hard time right now in the world, we all can see that. It's full of aggression and full of fear, full of confusion, and that's manifesting into violence and hate. And um, and so I think that, at least for me, I can, I've can. found that when I'm afraid of things, um, it can be kind of easy to meet that fear with my own fear and just kind of butt heads with people or with things I don't understand or agree with. And I think that I'm learning that um, there's so much power in trying to stay tender and compassionate, especially towards myself uh, through these times. And so I just really appreciate all of you for coming here tonight, uh, because to me, it means that there's so many beautiful things in this world um, especially right now in this dark time, that the fact that we're here together to experience what I would call like communion with each other and um, with art, uh, which for me is the most important thing. Uh, it means the world to me. So thank you all so much for being here. I hope that your hearts feel a little lighter if they came in a little heavy like mine did. Um, thank you very much for coming. And to Doug and Caroline for hosting.